Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make chopped ramur iced rose milk tea. that you will need. One tablespoon of chopped ramur rose tea mix. Two and a half tablespoons of condensed milk. One teaspoon of sugar. Two tablespoons of milk. And of course you'll need a kettle with some water in it and ice in your glass. This is a delicious version of their famous recipe found only in their store locations. It's pink, it's cute, and it came out in Valentine's Day of 2017. And when you bought one, it was served up in one of these fancy flower themed cups. The ingredients aren't just rose petals. There's tea, flavoring, and coloring, which is why this unique branded item is only available through their company out of Thailand. I love Thailand, and on this last trip out there, I was super excited to try this amazing rose milk tea. So go grab your bag, and I'll show you how to make it. First, we're going to brew our rose tea mix. You'll need 175 milliliters of 65 degrees Celsius water, which is 149 Fahrenheit. I've tried brewing this tea at different temperatures, and if it's not warm enough, then of course it doesn't really brew very well. And if it's too hot, it's very bitter and it just doesn't taste right. So 65 is perfect. Time-wise, you wanna brew it anywhere from five to 10 minutes. I have a thermometer probe here that I'm going to put into the water so we can find out exactly when it hits 65. The temperature is almost to 65, but I just wanted to share with you how this smells. It's like walking through an entire field of rose bushes. It just smells so amazing. Okay, so we're at 65 degrees, and just for visual effect, I'm going to be brewing it in this glass so you can see the beautiful changing colors. And we're going to put in our one flat tablespoon of the rose tea mix and let it sit for anywhere between five to 10 minutes. And at some point, make sure you give it a really good stir. Okay, so now we're going to drain the rose tea mix. And as always with Chatramur products, you wanna make sure that you use some sort of tea strainer or mesh bag or something that catches the really small particles. I picked this one up in Thailand. I think it was maybe about a dollar. It came in one of these little bags and it was just sort of hanging there on the shelf and I was like, oh, perfect. I could totally use this. But you could just buy a jelly strainer or something that again, won't allow for those small particles to go through it when we are straining the tea. Mmm, smells so nice. I can't wait to make this into a milk tea. Okay, so next we wanna put in one teaspoon of sugar. Two tablespoons of milk. And two and a half tablespoons of condensed milk. And now we want to give it a really good stir. Mm. 
The best way to drink this rose milk tea is super cold. I happen to have a shaker and some ice and I'm gonna give it a quick shake. If you don't have one at home though, don't worry. You know when you're all done shaking, when there's a nice condensation on the outside of the shaker. All right, let's pour it in. Perfect. This is absolutely beautiful. Wow, guys, this drink looks amazing. Check this out. I don't want to go overboard on the roses, but I really want to put some dried rose petals on top just because it's gonna look amazing. Yes, it really does smell like walking through a garden of English roses. I can definitely see why they brought this drink out on Valentine's Day. It doesn't get any more romantic than this. All right, guys, let's give this drink a try. I got my reusable glass straw. Cheers. Oh, wow. That is amazing. It has a real floral flavor to it. It's got a really nice rose floral that's just really strong, but you still get that tea flavor. It's very natural tasting. And of course we added the condensed milk to it, so it has that nice creaminess and sweetness. This is the perfect beverage for spring and summer. So if you're looking for a way to change up your normal milk tea routine, I definitely recommend the Cha Tramur Rose Milk Tea Mix. Well guys, Thanks for joining me today as I made this delicious rose milk tea. I'm so excited for you to try this one at home. And if you get the opportunity, please leave a comment below and let me know how it turned out for you. Or perhaps you're wanting to make this. And in that case, let me know that too. And while you're there, please feel free to hit that like button and subscribe. I bring you a brand new drink video every week. See you soon.